Hi, Monica Dina Huppert's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. Welcome to Stairway to Sovereignty, Forgoing Fears for Freedom. Does anybody know of the word when you're afraid of all that snow that's coming down? Holy moly. Um, it's almost three feet, uh, almost one meter of snow that fell in Newfoundland. Newfoundland, holy crow. I remember some days in Winnipeg, but whoa. That was a while ago. Anyways, today we're talking about the dreaded F word, fear. We're facing it and tossing fear on its ear, giving you freedom and placing you in a fun and fabulous new year. Fear serves a purpose. It's intended to get our attention, a messenger. Yet, once the issue at hand has your attention, feeling fear is no longer helpful. In fact, it's downright harmful. It's now time to take action in a different direction instead of staying in its tight grip. We're taking on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, attitudes, and beliefs can negatively control how we think, act, and feel. We're making fear work for us instead of against us. Instead of shooting the messenger, we're paying attention to the message so we can course correct and carry on. Yesterday, I mentioned that there's a stigma attached to grown-ups that fear making a decision and having chronic indecision going on in their lives. As grown-ups, we're expected to know what to do, but unfortunately, that's not always the case. As life is full of uncertainty, risk is a part of each choice we make. The threat of failure fills our minds. If we're not careful, these threats can stop us from living rich, full lives. We can get stuck before we even start. Yet, the more decisions made, the less scary deciding becomes. Fear is entirely up to you. Once things start getting done, the doing isn't as hard as once thought. This fear can disappear and being decisive can help you become uh, happier and become a new habit to enjoy. Well, maybe being indecisive isn't a fear for you. But maybe you've been brought up learning that you must forgive others for their transgressions. Yet you feel you can't forgive others. Not only does that make you angry when people suggest that you practice forgiveness, you're actually afraid it might happen if you actually do forgive others. This one can turn into a fear of having to forgive. Today's episode deals with this fear and is titled, What if I don't want to? Do you fear or believe that bad things will happen to you if you don't forgive? Have you ever thought if you fail to forgive, you won't be forgiven for what you've done? When you try or are forced to forgive before you're ready, before you've had a chance to process the regret, the anger, the hate, the resentment, or those revenge fantasies running around in your brain, it weighs on your mind, and that can lead to having fearful feelings. You may feel that your anger will lead to more problems than the solution that forgiving is supposedly supposed to be able to do. Well, what do you do? Sometimes the very thought of letting someone walk away scot-free from what they've done makes you really angry you might want to see the scores even and for them to bear the weight of what they've done to you. Forgiving them seems like kind of like the ultimate betrayal of yourself. The anger is burning inside of you, pumping toxicity through your system. You know that, but you still can't let it go. The anger is an inseparable part of you as is your heart or your mind. You stay angry because you want fairness. 
and because you think it's useful. Anger doesn't realize that the past is over and the damage has been done. It tells you <coughs> that vengeance will fix things. It's on the pursuit of justice or revenge. Staying angry isn't always realistic. The truth about anger is that it's nothing more than the refusal to heal because you're scared to, because you're afraid of who you'll be once your wound closes up and you have to go on living in your new unfamiliar skin. You want the peace forgiveness offers and you want the release, and you want the lunacy in our brains to quiet down. Yet, there's a part of you that believes that forgiveness isn't going to fix anything. It won't wipe away the pain of what's happened to you and grant you immediate peace. And you fear that finding peace will be a long uphill battle. You'll have to do it all by yourself. Forgiveness may also mean accepting responsibility. Not for causing the destruction, but for cleaning it up. You don't have to make amends with whoever hurt you, or befriend them, or sympathize, or validate what they've done to you. It simply means that they've left a mark on you, and you're done waiting for them to put you back together. For better or for worse, that mark is now your burden to bear and to heal. It's the, it's the decision to heal your own wounds regardless of which marks they left behind. It's the decision to drop what was done from your head and heart and move forward with or without scars. It's about deciding that the rest of your life isn't going to be miserable because of what has happened to you. In fact, forgiveness doesn't mean giving up your power. Forgiveness means you're finally ready to take it back. And as you're not going to let what happened to you define you any longer. If you're still feeling overwhelmed by this type of fear, book a session with me and together we'll kick your fear out on its rear with restorative techniques to help you heal. I'm putting together some courses that will make healing and achieving your goals faster, easier, and more efficient. You deserve a more balanced, fear-free, and happier life. Message me for more information. I hope that you're supported during this quest and can find someone to go along with you on your journey. Let's do this together. Together is better. Use the link that I'll post below in a minute called Getting to Know You, and we'll explore what you want to achieve in life and move forward into a happier way of being. Monica Dina Hupperts of Whole Heart Energy Healing. This has been day 20 of your Stairway to Sovereignty fears for freedom so you can get a new year a new decade and a new you off to a freeing and abundant new start and today's challenge share one brave thing big or small that you're going to forget or forgive today blessings to y'all ah Sandra Sandra Lynn, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye, everyone. Cheers to your success.